How's everyone doing? Welcome to the Fish Kingdom. Today we are starting a brand new series named All About. And yes, the inspiration came from Brock Leonard's YouTube channel. But the difference is both Josh and I will only talk about our experiences with fish that we have owned in our reefs here in the fish kingdom. So without further ado, let's get to the first one, which is the Midas Blenny. So let's kick it off with the Midas Blenny. This is the African version, not the one from South Asia, which could look a little lighter, but not a huge difference to the naked eye. Some other people like to call this one as well, the African Gold Midas Blenny. But however you know it, it's a very, very excellent reef fish and it's incredibly beautiful. It has that deep golden yellow slash mustard color with a shadow of blue under the chin and that bright blue rimmed eyes. Oh my goodness, I love, love these colors on this fish. And when it's swimming, the motion they use is very eel-like. They are known to be peaceful, but in my experience, that is far from the truth. I've also seen other videos and information online saying they could be paired with other blennies, which needs to be taken with a grain of salt because I have a starry blenny and they were both at it at the same time and they fight all the time. That white spot you're seeing on the body of this blenny is a fight mark. They don't tank fight, and by that I mean fight to the death, but they definitely don't like each other. I get away with it because I really feed these fish well and have a six foot tank. Another thing I have read is that they are great with algae. Maybe it's just mine, but she doesn't really pick at rocks or the glass. Now the Starry Blenny is a beast and a great algae controller. I'll say this, every fish has its own personality. I have also noticed that if you add a long fish, it doesn't even have to be a blenny. It will beat it up. Here we own a lot of wrasses. They all get a nice introduction from Miss Golden Blenny. So they are definitely territorial, so watch out for that. And I have never seen it go after Aptasia like other people say. And I have never met another reefer that claimed that this fish eats Aptasia. So I would not buy this fish if your purpose is to control or eliminate Aptasia. Now let's go over some of the care facts, or as I like to call them, care suggestions. Care level, pretty easy. It's a great beginner fish. Temperament, supposedly peaceful, but I would put an asterisk next to that. Diet, they are omnivore, reef safe, absolutely. Minimum tank size, I would say at least 30 gallons, and the max size, six inches, which is pretty big if you ask me. Salinity should be around 1.020 to 1.026. Temperature 72 to 78. DKH 8 to 12. pH 8.1 to 8.4. That's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I would say they range from 40 to 80 dollars depending on where you buy it. I believe it's a good beginner fish with a lot of personality. You will see it camouflage into the rocks or sit on coral. It's a very entertaining fish that you will enjoy. If you have any other questions, let us know in the comments below. We would also love for you guys to drop a comment talking about your experience with this fish if you've ever owned one. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Let's continue to grow the fish kingdom. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.